hometown Broncos taking the field as they get set to do battle with the Detroit Lions. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Melvin Gordon, the two-time Pro Bowler. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Lock throwing on second down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. At the 50-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Man, I got you. Man, I got you. A toss play. Gordon. And some space hit. There goes Melvin Gordon. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Melvin Gordon, his 17th touchdown now on the season. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown. 104 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. We'll go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up. Right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even on it. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Now Gordon on first down, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. 
An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go, here we go. Go, go. 50, plant. 52 is the mark. Yeah. Throwing on second and 14. Lock, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Lock going to throw. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 27-yard line. Sutton is part of a good young receiving core for the Broncos. They liked Sutton enough last year. They traded away Demarius Thomas, if you remember, halfway through the season. And Sutton, he responded. Rookie campaign had over 700 yards. There goes Melvin Gordon. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Melvin Gordon with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Broncos have taken the lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Yeah, yeah. Here's second and eight. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. On first down, Swift. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. That reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. TJ Hawkinson, his ninth touchdown of the season. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Prater for the extra point, And we are tied at 14. The 
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And from down in Miami, an update. And the Bengals out to the early advantage. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Let's go. 60 out, Law. On second down, here's Locke. Space to maneuver at the 40. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And all the way down to the 41 yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. These two teams. They'll run on first down. Gordon. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Gordon. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. He lost two, and it brings up four. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complimentary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system so they can play with the standards of the defense and the win column will result. Try to find a lane but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a give right side. Swift. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. A.J. Boye up to make the tackle. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for Detroit. 47 yards. But well, we spent a lot of time exalting the offensive masterminds in this game, right? They draw up these beautiful plays. They look so perfect up on the board. But occasionally, sometimes you just say, throw it up and let him go get it. 
How about that play? Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. He lost two there, and it's third down. So he rolls out of the pocket left, just ends up finding a safety valve, but no gain there. No gain, but it looked like they were well coached on the play because he still went through his progressions, and the receivers know that when the quarterback exits the pocket, they have defined routes to run now to get into his sight lines and try and help him out, end up throwing it short to the running back, give the defense credit for not giving up any yardage. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Steps away to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Bradley Chubb racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And yeah. just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Lock again here on second and 10. This is the tight end fan. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Now the Broncos are gonna call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The first down run got five, here's second and five. Now a toss right side, it's Gordon. And he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line. Now the Broncos gonna use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. to get this to the 24 on third down. 
Throwing his lock on third down. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Now a timeout coming here defensively. As on fourth down, may as well make them punt it. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something, now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. We play to win. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Touchdown, Detroit! Kenny Galladay with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Lions are going to jump back in front. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. Let's go. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. This is Gordon. And some room to work. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his third touchdown of the game, number 19 on the year. And the Broncos have once again taken the lead. McManus's point after is good, and that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. From the 22, here's second and eight. 
Now a give right side. Logan. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. From the gun on third down, Stevens. That's complete to his running back, Grant. Detroit of the season as his guys are able to regain the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's gonna get it down to the 14-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Gordon. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Locked to throw on second down. And incomplete. Cortland Sutton was the man he was looking for. And it'll bring up third down. Whenever they're trying to attack a zone defense, you're trying to figure out where your gaps are going to be. And depending on what type of zone they're playing, it could be on the outside, it could be in the middle, it could be in the seams, in the edges. In this case, they tried to attack the middle of the field, but this zone defense didn't allow it because they were able to see the ball come off the quarterback's hands and everyone was able to react to the football and knock it away. Just a yard on the run there, and that's gonna bring us to a fourth down. The kick by McManus is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminating touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a give right side. Grant. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They go back to Grant. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Let's go. Let's 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Johnson now, the fullback. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. To throw on second down, Stevens. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Corey Grant, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Extra point good by Prater. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fielded about a yard deep. Gets around him. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now a play fake, and here's Locke. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Yeah. Falls incomplete. Big play hey. coming up. Here's Five third seven. and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He'll get this to Philip Lindsay complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. And the Broncos first down. First and 10 at the 47 yard And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. to Gordon here on first down. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Melvin Gordon with touchdown number 20 on the year as they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. They're going to try and run for it. But he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. It's picked up by the Broncos. 
Rodgers. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his 21st touchdown of the season, as his guys have now moved out in front. Extra point from McManus is good, and the lead is up to five. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Let's go now. 18 Gators. Hey, hey, Lord. Looking to throw on second down. Stevens. And the Broncos get there and take him down. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. The Lions on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. You got nothing. You got nothing. Off play action. Stevens. Throwing deep for Galladay. Got a man, it's caught at the six yard line. Down to Troy. Kenny Galladay, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year as they have taken the lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two point conversion. Check, exit. Check, 45 the mic. Operating from the gun, Stevens, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is taken at his four. Dances by him. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Give him 32 on the play. Some good games going on in the early window. 
This might be the best of the bunch. A big spot now for the rookie lock. They run it here with Gordon. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now Locke. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> well, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. And this kick is not going to get there. It's short and no good. A fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there and a lion first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. On first down, it's Logan. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 10 yards is the pick up there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Let's field it at the two. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Back to throw. Lock. 
Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So now third and ten, they had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. To throw is locked. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Deron Harmon, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it was strictly 